sixth stop of our Northern Hemisphere end of year tour finds us at Murrayfield, the home of Scottish rugby for this match between Scotland and Japan. Hello Rani, welcome along to Cornflakes Crib, your home of Rugby Challenge 2 and of course the Northern Hemisphere end of year tour where we're trying to follow all the big matches from the tours going around the world at the moment. So today's big match at Murrayfield has Scotland. How about awesome music? Is that new? I think we might have some new music to go along on the back of the mighty Scots here at Murrayfield. What better way to do it than here at Murrayfield. So the Scots fantastic looking team with a, a hugely talented back line with Jackson combining with Scott and DeLuca Seymour and Lamont on the wings and Maitland at fullback a spectacular lineup missing the solidness of Hogg at fullback but an adequate replacement of Maitland and a super forward pack to go with that it should be a good outing a good hit out here for the Scots their first of the end of year tour on the series so far well, that was, that was nice to have that in the background for the Scots, but here's a good old-fashioned national anthem for Japan. And the Japanese, we've already seen once in the series where they took on New Zealand, and did they ever take them on? They fought them right to the very end and only ended up going down 35-14, to 14, which in my books, that's a bloody good effort from Japan and really puts them up nicely for this match against Scotland. They've kept the similar squad, and this is, of course... Maybe not Japan, but this is exactly the same Scottish team that was used for the match. The Japanese teams are a bit iffy, so I've gone for the best I could do with what was available. So that is what we've got in store for today. Today's match, Scotland to Japan, here at Murrayfield. And it will be Japan to kick off through Arledge. Such a talented young first five when he left New Zealand was James Arledge, and he kicks off straight through the middle. And Jackson picks up the loose pass, and straight away they go wide for Lamont, who takes a good beating to get himself down just short of halfway. Ladlaw going away for it again. Comes to the right-hand side, Strock lost the man who took the kick off to Seymour. He's breaking away nicely. Jackson picks up the loose ball, looked destined to go to Scott. But just over his head, and we settle it down. Ladlaw coming away again for Murray. Takes on the man brilliantly and gives it away for Lamont. He's got a man with him. It's DeLuca. DeLuca's in a bit of a run here with Tanaka. Tanaka on DeLuca. Won't stop DeLuca. He'll score for a strike for Scotland. And we're underway after just six minutes on the board. Take nothing away from Fumiaki Tanaka. That was a special chase against a much quicker, stronger player. But look at the little man go. Oh, he just about got him too. Support coming across for the Japanese, not enough. And a good start for Scotland. DeLuca just about looked like he was in trouble. Little Tanaka, such a tenacious little player. And Scotland lead 5-0, thanks to that great little try to start things off. And Jackson. With a chance to add two more and make it seven here at Murrayfield. Spectacular stadium. Here's a shot and through it goes. Jackson adds the extras and Scotland now leads seven to nil over Japan. I'm sure not the start the Japanese had in mind, but this is such progress for Japan on the, on the large scale of things. Playing tougher oppositions more often. That's what it's all about for them. As Ford takes a kick off down, Jackson gets it nicely to Luca and Brown. Captain Brown to Scott. Oh, good spot tackle on Scott. And straight away he gets up and turns it over. I think, who was that? That was Nicholas. Maybe making that amazing turnover ball. Release. And eventually Scotland break down that attack. Tanaka. Goes away nicely for Onuzawa, coming out to the left side, oh, just about through. And it's turned over from Murray. Swinson, Scott, popping it out in the tackle, DeLuca. Oh, good tackle again on DeLuca. That was Kitigawa. What a spectacular tackle we made, stopping that pass. And now they drive forward on DeLuca. Here's Kellogg. He's going to come out and go to the open side through Scott. Takes a man on Scott and gives it to Jackson. Jackson. Puts it to his boot. He's chipped ahead for Seymour. 
and he's also chasing with the Luca. Oh, advantage for Scotland. Forward pass from Japan. Oh, well, there was a nice little play. Something you expect from the first fives these days, I guess, making a break. It's observing the options. Crouch. Opting for Cut. the little kick for the corner. See it. It's worked out not too badly for the Scots here as they have a scrum. And it goes from Ladlaw. Oh, and a good hit too from the Scottish pack. Ladlaw comes away with a big pass to De Luca. Takes on his man, Nicholas, and gives it to Lamont. Lamont will draw, draw them all in, and then gets a high tackle. And that is a big hit too from the Japanese. Who was that? Was that Webb? I think the fullback. It might have been Webb. And Scotland will slow this one down. And that is respect to Japan too. They would have watched that match against New Zealand. Scotland would have. And they would have known that these, these Japanese are nothing to be toiled with here. These guys can play. And scoring two converted tries against New Zealand is no mean feat as Jackson's uh, penalty is easily dealt with. And it goes straight through giving Scotland the lead 10 to 0. So they'll know that Japan is no pushover. They're no chumps here. And in the end, this is still a test match. And Scotland will want to do everything they can to win it as De Lucas picked up a loose pass. It just about went to Japan. And now Swinson. Oh, bad pass to Ladlaw. Seymour has to clean it up. Oh, no one's at home out there for Scotland. Big mistake on... Oh, big mistake there. There's an injury here to Tyra, who was probably one of the more impressive players against the All Blacks. And he is going to go off. A substitution coming on. Didn't catch his name. Substitute there. Number 22. Crouch. And a scrum will sit down for the Japanese Tanaka. Set. We'll put it in. This is a chance here for Scotland to spoil the party. Oh, but a good hit from Japan. Securing their ball and they come away to the short side. They cut it straight. Oh, that was just about all over there. Seymour nearly intercepted their pass. Looking for Onuzawa. And now they come off it again, they come to the open side. Good presence here from Japan, cutting it all the way. They've got big numbers here. It's three on two overlap. Surely they can score. Back inside it goes to Hori. Now a try for Japan. It looks like it was Kitagawa. That might be a spectacular play from the Japanese to score their first try. It looks like number five, the lock it is, Kitagawa. Oh, the steps. There's Nicholas. And there was Makabe back inside eventually. Kitagawa. Oh, that was a special finish. And look how pumped they are too, Japan. They had the numbers here. They had to score. And it was just about messed up by Makabe. He got a big tackle on him, but he managed to get that ball out. And Kitagawa, well, he may well celebrate long into the night for that one. Japan find themselves right in this match here. That try is just not let Scotland get away. Here's Arledge's kick. This is important. Oh, it's a very good kick from Arledge. And Japan trail by just the three points now. 10 to 7. Scotland maybe a bit rattled here. Jackson. Kicking off again for Scotland. They come away to the left side. Le Mans giving a big chase off De Luca, but it's come away for Japan. Great take from Leach. And Le Mans turns it over in the ruck. Brilliant take from Le Mans. He's got some support with De Luca. Numbers here have to tell. Kellick. Kellick is a man. It's Jackson. Jackson from the corner. What a response from Scotland. There was a big, big response from Scotland. That was just real pressure on them. And Jackson has scored. He's come across the end of it, but it was a turnover from Lamont. And it was keeping that ball alive. Kellick, and then just popped the ball over the top. Just about running out of field, but Jackson gets the job done. There's the steal from Lamont. He drew in Webb. He drew in the defense, and then they were scrambling Japan. And big lock, Kellick, just finishing that last pass. And putting Scotland back in the box seat. But what a reply. 
Japan toiled very, very long to get that try, to get themselves back in the match, and then instantly, bang, Scotland. Here's the conversion. Looks goal off the post from Jackson, and through it goes. A very difficult kick. The wind pushing the ball back away from the posts. The right-footed kicker, and it just about hit both poles on its way through, but a spectacular kick, and rightfully so, after such a great try. Here's Arledge kicking us off again. Straight back into the action for Sean Good Maitland, advantage. playing a fullback. Oh, and he's throwing a forward pass. And again, that's Japan, straight back on attack now. Haven't seen much of Maitland today. He's been quiet at the back. Took that kick off. Crouch. And looked to spark his team Touch. into action, but the counter-attack not going to plan. See. In Japan. Well, now they have a chance to put in another reply. Oh, Scotland hit the scrum well. They hit it very well. They could turn this over. Japan going backwards. Where's the ball? Is it going to come back for Denton? It does. And now Jackson has it. Are they going to play it? Are they going to go to half time? Scott, out the back. It goes for Lamont. Lamont's going to step and dummy his way. Oh, and then a forward pass. Advantage to Japan. And will we get the penalty? I think we may well get that penalty. Because it's not a knock on. It should be a penalty. No, we're going to half time. So a high tackle, we play on, but not for a forward pass. Not to worry, we got to head to half time now. 10 point lead for Scotland, 17 to seven. They really look to push the envelope there with that last little passage of play not going their way. 70 to 30, the position stakes, big time advantage for Scotland. But Japan have hung in there, hung in there tough. And they have their seven points. They are just 10 behind and they have made a lot of tackles and they are right in this match really in the grand scheme of things despite having not much ball and not the better of many set piece exchanges at all Scotland had the better of this but still only lead by 10 they have 40 minutes to get back in it Japan they have to turn that territory into some possession and finish their chances we know how good they can be they were very good in the second half against the All Blacks and if they repeat performance that they will really push these Scots. As for Scotland, on the other hand, they just need to keep on going. 10 point lead, 17 points in the bank. They can push on here and put some points on these Japanese. And hopefully, either way, we end up with a good match for this sixth stop of the Northern Hemisphere end of year tour between Scotland and Japan. Interesting point of note though, is the wind now heavily favouring the Scots as kickoff from Jackson again goes to the left side, nicely claimed from Japan. Release. That looked like, oh, I couldn't tell who that was. Japan claim it spectacularly though, and it's very slow ball coming back for Nicholas. Oh, high tackle. Oh, that is a nasty tackle from Denton. And I think it might have been Endo that took that Pluck that kick out of the air. Very nice take. But a mistake from Scotland. And this is what Japan will need to live on. They will really need to take their chances with the Scottish mistakes. And no point getting too excited. They're average. You know, you just kicked it into touch. So they need to make good use of their penalties. And their lineouts down to the back. It goes nicely taken from Leach. And now they cut it to the left. The ref looks like he's in blue, just to confuse everything. And uh, Japan take it back into midfield, cutting back for Ohori. Ruck goes down. Oh, short ball back inside. No one's seen that one coming for Fujita. Now they come wide for Endo. Endo on Maitland. Oh, super tackle from Maitland. That's a try saver. Tanaka coming right for Ardledge. Pops it over the top. Oh, there's an offside for Japan. And they still carry on, though. Advantage all very quickly over. Don't know about that for Japan. Tanaka. Goal ball, big pass from Tanaka. And it'll be a try for Endo. Oh, that is a brilliant play from Tumiaka Tanaka. And that has really put Japan back in this game. We have a real match on our hands. It is Endo. And it all was Fumiaki Tanaka. Look at this. Look at the little man go. He drew in the defense around the ruck. And then he put a perfect ball out to Endo. 
who even come back in field two to make the kick just that little bit easier. That was a great run there too, breaking through a few tackles, but no defense out there. The only man within reach was Brown, the captain, and there was no chance against Endo. Very quick man. And Japan, well, don't count them out just yet. Murrayfield could be home to a famous victory if Japan can keep this up. 17-12 the score here. Here's Ardlidge's kick. Oh, the wind's got it, but it's very nice. Seventeen to fourteen. The penalty of Jackson. All that separates these two sides now. Scotland. Maybe need to make use of that wind. Here's the kickoff again from Jackson. To that. Oh, that blind side again, but it's easily taken from Japan. Here's Brown though. Brown will turn that over. The great work from the flanker. And that is a telling play right there from the captain. Here comes Scotland. Swinson. Great ball. Swinson through a hole the size of a bus because it had to be for him to fit through it. But the pass is intercepted. And Japan come away with it. And they'll calm things down here. Away. Straight away to Endo they go. Lamont has to put him into touch. And he does Endo. Well, he's a bit of a go-to man now. He's a bit hot. And he just tripped out of one tackle. But couldn't finish the job in the second. Lamont putting him into touch. Now Ford, line out for Scotland. What can they make of this? Ladmore puts on a little step, a little jinking run. Jackson, DeLuca. DeLuca's got a hole. He's still got Seymour. Seymour going for the corner. Seymour for Scotland. Can't make it. He needs some support though. His big men are there just watching. Eventually it comes. Denton at the back. Denton. Denton. Denton for the line. Denton, the number eight, will score Scotland. Oh, the match is just tipsy turvy all over the show. But the big number eight, Denton, puts his power into it. Dave Denton will see it here. The support come in the ruck. He wanted it. That was his go-to play. He went through two players, McCarvey of one of them and Leach the other. And they couldn't stop the big number eight just bowling his way over the line between the defenders. Oh, squishing over Leach. That was a great hit. And Denton gets reward for a fine play. Good show of strength. And Scotland hit back almost straight away after conceding. And I take back what I said earlier. He's left footed, Jackson. His left foot. Oh, that is a shocking kick from Jackson. Oh, I, no, left footed, Jackson. Pay attention. The left footer Jackson there, not able to put that one over. And the score is just 22 to 14. Japan with another try could find themselves within a point. Brown, the captain, comes away with it. Ford picks it up, the loose ball. Scott, Scott through a little hole. Oh, he was so close to being through. He was just hung on to. Ledlaw away. Kellogg, Swinson, the big man in midfield. Lamont, Lamont goes through a massive gap. Big gaps appearing here in the Japanese defense. Eventually dumped down on his head. That was a bit dangerous, but the ref says play on. Here's Brown again. Seymour, Seymour backs his pace. Goes around the outside of Tanaka. Oh, and a big hit from the fullback. Webb has seen the ball dislodged, and the ref is playing on even though we're in touch. Seymour was gunning for the line there. Here it is, the big hit coming in. Crouch. I think that was Onuzawa. Crouch. Big hit from Onuzawa, Set. dislodging the ball along with Webb. And Japan, well, if that had gone over, they could have been in a whole world of trouble. Again, a good hit from their forward pack. Scrum secure, Arledge. Big pass out wide. Coming back inside is Endo. Release. Scotland. Oh, Scotland maybe. No, Japan do a good job to hold on to that ball. They come to the left side now. No way through there at all. And it's come back for them. Tanaka. Short ball for Hakakayama. No way through there and it's turned over from Scotland. 
Denton. Good ball for Scott. Superb sport short ball. The way it will come for Deluca. Numbers to burn for Scotland. And another try and maybe a little nail in the coffin of the Japanese. They've valiantly fought to the end, but that was a great break from Denton and the short ball to Scott, putting him in a big hole. Here we'll see it, running at pace, great ball. And then just back behind the line was always going to be numbers, still with Lamont outside him. DeLuca bags appear, and that was a good run too from Ford. Opening up Denton, but it was the pass to Scott that was a brilliant ball from the number eight who's having a storming game. Scotland finally gain a bit of a headway here. Over uh, these very strong Japanese players. Left footer Jackson. Strikes this one. Oh, he's allowed far too much for the wind. And it's ended up just about hitting a Japanese player on the head who was nowhere near the posts. So Jackson's left boot, after I called it right, has gone to the Packers. Big time for the Scottish fly half, but not to worry. The lead now is 13. And with just two minutes to go, Adler just kicked. Oh, Jackson's knocked it on if things couldn't get worse for him. Now it's a chance for Japan on the left side, on Uzawa. Brandon Coming Jaira. away with it, advantage very quickly over Tanaka. Good short ball, Japan are looking on this here. Keeping the ball alive. It's Leach. No way for Scotland to get that ball there. Tanaka again. Coming away to the right hand side. It's Lamont. Lamont on his big arch rival. Endo. Endo inside. Ball brilliant from Japan. Have scored an extra time. Stoppage time. Have scored a great try. But it was all Endo. Endo has played spectacularly. And it is Hendrix Tilly. But it was all this man here, Endo. We thought Lamont had him. Maitland come across and really hammered him. But he got the pass away to Tilly. Who was in open spaces. Look at this play though. Lamont got fended off. Lost his balance. And then the pass was perfect. Endo has been the best player on the park for the Cherry Blossoms today and that will give them great confidence for whatever may come for the Japanese later on in this tour. The game will end here with the kick. Three tries they've scored and all of them converted. Adlich very good from the tee and the final score will be 27 to 21 a great display from Japan but in the end Scotland Proving too much and they come away with the win. Japan putting in a great performance. And they push them to the very end again. There it is, there's Onuzawa. A bit of a quiet night compared to what we had against the All Blacks. But you have to give it to the man on the other side of the field. Number 14, Endo. He was outstanding. Had a hand in all three tries. And in the end, not quite enough. Just Scotland just having enough in the tank to see off the Japanese challenge. The final score, 27-21, four tries to three. Scotland tries for Denton, Jackson, and DeLuca with a pair. Two conversions out of four for Jackson. He went off the boil very much at the end there. And of course, the one penalty from Jackson as well. As for Japan, it was Kitagawa with one try. Tui and Endo with one apiece also, and Adlidge was perfect with the boots, getting three from three. The full-time stats, well, Japan really did pull it back. They're a very strong second-half team, and, well, they're really pushing these top teams here. Scotland, not the best in the world, but Japan are really showing that they're up to that second tier of international rugby, and they can compete with the likes of Scotland and they've showed that today in a great performance. Territory very even, position slightly nudged for Scotland. Of course the injury was a bit of a nuisance for the Japanese in their structures, but the handling errors of Scotland. Look at that, 17 to three. A massive amount of handling errors from the Scots. That has really, well, that has really put them down for today's game. Maybe if they kept that intact, they could have, maybe could have, 
won by a bit more. Not to be, Scotland have just snuck it anyway. 27-21, and that wraps us up for our sixth stop of the end of year tour. Thank you all for watching. Remember, if you like the series, give it a like, and of course, subscribe as well. And I will see you next time for the seventh stop, where let's have a looky here. Where will we be? England and Argentina. Looks like that's next on the itinerary. Stay tuned for that one. And of course, thanks for watching. And until next time, take care. Thank you.